So we've heard about this lately. Come from away. That's the latest Broadway show running at the Tanger Center this week. Yesterday, Stacy talked about a local woman who was part of the actual story that resulted in the play. But did you know there's a North Carolina tie in the touring Broadway show? Here's part of my conversation with North Carolina native Jeremy Woodard. Jeremy, thanks for taking time out, man. You guys are hustling all over the country these days. Um, talk about this show for people that aren't familiar with uh, Come From Away. What's it all about? Uh, the best description I heard of this show, someone said it a couple weeks ago, actually. And I was like, oh, that's it. You know, it's 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 easy to say the show's about September 11th. It, it involves September 11th. It's a story uh, about what happened on September 12th, is how they like to put it. So it's it's a small town up in uh, Newfoundland. Uh, called Gander, and it's it's what happened on the day that September 11 was, was happening. This small little town that that has this giant airport. All the planes got diverted there, so this town of you know 7,000 people all of a sudden has to take care of 7,000 strangers. The story of human kindness and how we all can be in times of uh, times of distress and how we should be. We, you and I were talking before we started recording. Give me an example of how you guys are hustling across the country all the time. What's the schedule like? <laughs> I mean. The way it normally works is we travel on our day off, which is Monday. So our day off doesn't really feel like a day off because you know we're, we're scooting around an airport and getting to the next city. And then we start Tuesday night and we do eight shows. So normally the schedule is like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, two shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday, get up Monday and fly to the next city. Um, sometimes they'll change that around and, and do like a matinee on a Wednesday and we have one on a Sunday so you have more time to get to the next place. But it's it's just go, 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 man. Tour, tour life can be hard, but it's it's fun, and we're just glad to be back after this past year and a half. All right, so I hear that you are from the Triad originally. You have to tell our folks about that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I was born in Greensboro. Yeah, Moses Cone was my uh, my uh, Greensboro claim to fame. Uh, and my grandmother lived there for many years. I There was a water park. I don't know if it was, was it Water Country USA? or Yes, yes. She lived right near there, so we would always go visit and go to the water park. But I, uh, I spent a lot of time in Greensboro growing up. I sure did. Hey, Jeremy, thanks so much for time uh, today. We appreciate this. Can't wait to see the show. So born in Greensboro, but grew up in Garner, outside of Raleigh. But yeah, worked at, uh, he said Water Country USA, but <laughs> Emerald Point, yeah, wet and wild. That's really, that is really neat. And you know, it's like hometown boy coming home. Yep. And if he has any family back here still, I mean, it would be great to, to be able to go out and see him. You know, obviously he's all over the country, but he's, back in the Gate City. He said they are coming from different parts of North Carolina here to see the show and to talk and to have dinner and hang out with him. Mm -hmm. Every one of these actors that I interview for at, at whatever show is at the Tango, they all ask me the same thing. What do you think it is? What, if you're traveling all the time, what would you ask a local person? Uh, where, to, where to eat. That's exactly yeah, right. Say, That's food. the first question is food. tell us the restaurant. And seat. what did you say? <laughs> I, I'm not going to show my favoritism on okay. air. I gave them about four yeah. choices. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's, yep. that's smart. I, I think this play or this musical is fantastic and it makes it even better to know that a local guy or well, a, you know, statewide guy, I guess, is in it. And, you know, being able to tell a story about um, someone that influenced this play yesterday was really yes. cool. Um, I just I we need should to get them hooked up. It. Wouldn't that be cool to have him talk oh. to her? You know, that would yeah. while they're here be very good. I'll see this play this weekend. I'm excited to see it.